Fredo Herbst now back. Alatimu, a little show and go. Alatimu still with it. Into the hands of Matthews. Duncan Matthews across and down. Try time Seattle. Wow, so pretty to watch. Alatimu with the dummy. Alatimu just recycling himself. This ball from Reno Herbst. And the vision of Alatimu slicing through just enough to find Matthews. Again, Here's the ball. Just to limp into the playoffs. They want to continue this winning streak as Landry and Barrett, a little hand fighting over the breakdown. This one bounces off into the hands of Yosefo. Martin Yosefo across the 22. No one will catch him. Yosefo across and down. It's a second for the Seawolves. They've got nothing to lose. They just want to please the crowd and finish the season on a high. And this is the way to do it. Houston need to be careful if they don't. Alatimu a miss in his first conversion attempt. Not the case here, raises the flags, and Alatimu now with 100 points on the season, and it's 12 to nothing, Seattle on top. Houston looking to respond. Sabercats just shy of that try line, and this is exactly what Houston need. They need to respond quickly. Out wide it goes, Matai Leuta. Dots it down and Houston comes right back down the pitch with a try of their own, well done. And look what happens, Houston right back, just what they needed to do and they'll be pleased with this effort. The perfect way to bounce back from a try and back to back tries at that from Seattle. They definitely put a plug in this offense with a try of their own. Respecting the kicker does not apply at Starfire Sports. But it does not affect Kutza. Now 68 points on the season. That has him eighth in the league in Houston. Starfire Sports can be that crowd and they've turned up in numbers for the final game of the season. Good luck to any team that tries to stand in Seattle's way, especially here we go again with Alatim on the boot. Looking for Creel, has him. Creel is going to be in for five. Has it on a string. And his players around him just seem to know exactly where it's going to put it. The precision of that boot to land it in between Houston players and then Creel had some work to do he needed to regather that at full flight a try saver Creel just two meters away Seattle still shy another effort and they will get it down I believe Tavita Lopetti the man who dots it down no excuse me that Houston can't handle at the moment you see it was just a simple pass the damage was done great running line picked up in last year's MLR collegiate draft the former St. Mary's man and the extras added by Alatimu 26 to 7 Seattle on top Jabori again tries to pick his way through Manoa there with another tackle Inside ball, Van der Skaife. Nudis Van der Skaife across and down. The 23-year-old South African. Crazy season, fantastic player. The inside switch ball was just enough in that first missed tackle. Once he slipped through the tackle of Malcolm, there was no stopping him. With the try, and this is exactly what Houston needs. Kutza able to raise the flags, and it's 29-14, Seattle on top. Here to Seattle last night as well. Houston a bit slow out of the gates. Travel may be playing a factor. Matthews, what an offload, able to find Neal. Neal to Yosefo. I think Leuda might... No signal yet, an absolutely beautiful sequence, and we will go to the TMO to see what Chris Asmus has on this. In the field of play, but is there a part of his body that went out in the process or beforehand? This will tell us what a great angle. Ooh, he's, his outside foot may have been in the air. And never makes contact with the ground, you can stick with your on-field decision. Okay, so lead up fine, players in the field of play, try. There it is, try for Seattle. Martin Yosefo with his second, a beautiful team try from the Seawolves. It's a wide kick from Alatima, but a preferred angle. 
Otimu able to slot it through, and it's 31-14 Seattle. Muir again. Smith. Back it goes. Dyer. Dyer with the fend and dots it down. Christian Dyer, the vice captain, with the try for Houston. They've been camped down here for quite some time. The Seawall doing their absolute best, but mixing up the play nicely, getting it out to Kutzer, and that was a beautiful spiral to Dyer, and he was only going one way. Seattle inside the 22. Everyone in blue getting involved. Majola now with the carry, right at Nassim Genge. Majola. <laughs> Seattle are putting on a show for the home crowd. My on field decision is try. I believe that one's got there. Just want to make sure that he's not short initially. Here's another look. I mean, for me, from the wider angle, it was a try. He reached out. Correct. Try Seattle. Mazzano okay. Majola. Okay. Is that the nail in the coffin? Will that do it? Van Fike again. Trying to make an impact coming off the bench. Neil calling for numbers to the top touch line. As Houston able to get across, is there time? Here's what's interesting about that kit. Let's just have a look at this again. Boyer. Easy stuff, up to the try line. Boyer again, dummies, gets himself over. Tyler Uta under the high ball. That third place in the Western Conference still up for grabs. We will not know the seating until no. next week. No, you're over the top fist. Houston with the advantage. That's Ngenge. Houston trying to get it out wide. Pangelinen with it. Pangelinen oh, across and down. Pangelinen dots it down, and Houston continues to fight. Keeping the ball alive, and then there was space out wide. Quick hands all the way out to Pangelinen with some space, and he had plenty to do. Didn't he do well? The dummy with the looping player slices through with those fresh legs, off, off. and he is like, let's go, gents. Okay. There's still time. Can Houston find the three they need to send them to the postseason for the first time ever? Oh, can you imagine San Diego watching this right now? A yellow card. He's done it. Houston is headed to the postseason. Seattle comes away with the victory, but the Sabercats are playoff bound for the first time in franchise history.